Brothers and sisters, this is Christina speaking today is March 30th, 2023, and I hope you are doing well. And so I have a message from the Lord, but before I share it, I want to confess that I believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God who has come in the flesh on earth and died for our sins and was buried and rose on the third day. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm going to share with you a message from the Lord, and this time the message is for Donald Trump, his family, his partners, and his followers. And also, a part of this message is for all American people. It does not matter how important these people are. Understand that I am here only to deliver the messages from the Lord. That's it, that's all. For those who are going to react against this message, I have a word from the Lord for you. First Samuel chapter 2, verse 10. The adversaries of the Lord shall be broken in pieces. From heaven he will thunder against them. The Lord will judge the ends of the earth. Brothers and sisters, there is no time to waste. Focus on Jesus Christ in getting right before him. Time is very, very short. Before I go through this message, I just want to mention that this is not the first time the Lord gives me a message about Donald Trump. In one of my videos I posted a while ago, I talked about this man, even though I did not mention his name. Many times the Lord showed me that Donald Trump has done lots of evil actions, and so he must repent. Also, you must understand that he is not the only one who has done evil actions in the United States of America. Most of the leaders in the United States of America have done evil actions said the Lord God, therefore, they also must repent. Brothers and sisters, let's pray for these people, including all American people, to come to Jesus Christ and repent before it is too late. Repentance means go and sin no more. Today, the Lord wants me to talk about Donald Trump publicly because of his many followers. The Lord said that Donald Trump is leading many to hell. Many will not believe in this message because they are convinced that this man is serving the Most High God. Brothers and sisters, this is not the truth because the Lord said that Donald Trump has done lots of evil actions. Also, he said that you cannot serve two masters, the devil and God, at the same time. When he said that, he gave me a scripture. John 8, from verse 31 to 44. You might read this scripture to understand the work of the devil. Whoever does the will of the devil, the devil becomes his father. Verse 34 says, Whoever commits sin is a slave of sin. Brothers and sisters, don't be deceived. Use your discernment. Understand that God can use whoever he wants. 
including Satan and his demons, to serve him. Remember how God used King Nebuchadnezzar. And so, if you are following Donald Trump, you must stop and turn to the Lord and repent. We don't have much time left. Personally, I will be surprised if these people come to Jesus Christ for repentance. But let's pray for them because the time is ending. We don't have much time left. I'm going to share with you a dream I had from the Lord on February 22nd, just a few weeks ago, in which I saw a multitude of people going back and forth as if something was happening. And this was happening in United States of America. I was there watching, but I did not understand what was going on because everything was hidden from me to understand. I saw people talking and fighting, and suddenly a man stood in front of me and said to me, Donald Trump is the devil. The dream ended. I prayed, seeking the Lord for discernment and understanding. I'm going to share with you what the Lord said. He said that the only way to understand this message is to go through all the scriptures he gave me. He gave me many scriptures. I read all them. The Lord wants you, brothers and sisters, to take time, sit down, and read all these scriptures. Pray and take everything to the Holy Spirit for discernment, understanding, and confirmation. And also, the Lord wants you to spend more time in prayer and worship, reading and studying the Word of God. And this is how you get close to the Lord Jesus Christ. And also, remember, God speaks to us through his word. I'm going to share with you a few of the scriptures he gave me, and I will leave all the scriptures in the description under the video, and so you can go and check them. He gave me Daniel chapter 2, and this is about King Nebuchadnezzar. He also gave me Daniel chapter 5, and this is about the sudden destruction of the kingdom of Babylon. He gave me Ezekiel 27, very important to read. Malachi chapter 3, Ezekiel 16 from verse 44 to 50. Exodus chapter 23 and chapter 20. And this is about God's commandments. And so I'm going to share with you my understanding from the Lord about this message. 
the Lord said that all the kingdoms of the earth are all enemies of Christ's kingdom. When he said that, he gave me a scripture. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 24 and 25, which says, Then comes the end, when he delivers the kingdom to God the Father, when he puts an end to all rule and all authority and power. Brothers and sisters, Jesus is coming. He is coming to destroy all the kingdoms of the earth. Then he gave me a message for American people. He said, God's voice cried in the city as Jonah to Nineveh, yet forty days and Babylon shall be destroyed. You shall therefore, like the king of Nineveh, have proclaimed a fast, but you resolved to work contrary to God. Then he gave me a scripture, Isaiah 22, verse 12 and 13, which says, And in that day the Lord God of hosts called for weeping and for mourning, for burdness and for gilding with sackcloth, but instead joy and gladness, slaying oxen and killing sheep, eating meat and drinking wine. Legs eat and drink, for tomorrow we die. The Lord said that people love their sin more than they love God. I am going to lead Ezekiel 16, verse 48, but please read from verse 44 to 50. Verse 48 says, As I live, says the Lord God, neither your sister Sodom and her daughters have done as you and your daughters have done. He said that Babylon is worse than Sodom. A while ago, the Lord revealed to me that Babylon is United States of America. I'm going to read another scripture, brothers and sisters. Exodus chapter 23 from verse 1 to 9. You shall not circulate a false report. Do not put your hand with the wicked to be an unrighteous witness. You shall not follow a cloud to do evil, nor shall you testify in a dispute so as to turn aside after many to pervert justice. You shall not show partiality to a poor man in his dispute. If you meet your enemy's ox or his donkey going astray, you shall surely bring it back 
to him again. If you see the donkey of one who hates you lying under his burden, and you would refrain from helping it, you shall surely help him with it. You shall not pervert the judgment of your poor in his dispute. Keep yourself far from a false matter. Do not kill the innocent and righteous, for I will not justify the wicked. If you shall take no bribe, for a bribe binds the discerning and perverts the words of the righteous. Also, you shall not oppress a stranger, for you know the heart of a stranger, because you were strangers in the land of Egypt. Brothers and sisters, read this scripture yourself. This message is for all American people and also especially for those who are following these wicked leaders. I hope you are listening. Please share this message because we are praying for conversion of sinners. Time is very, very short. There is good news, brothers and sisters. No matter how evil you have done, you can still go to heaven. But how can you do that? You must turn away from your sin and come to Jesus Christ and repent of your sins before it is too late. If you have not given your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, Turn to him right now. Receive and accept him as your God and Savior. Believe and repent all your sins. Get baptized of water and spirit. But before you get baptized, make sure you understand what you are doing because it is very important to know the word of God. Lead and study the word of God every day. Seek the face of the Most High God, Jesus Christ. Then, once you understand, you believe and you repent all your sins. Believe that Jesus Christ is the only begotten Son of God who has come in the flesh on earth and died for our sins and was buried and rose on the third day. Hallelujah. Amen. Stay away of sin. We don't have much time left. God hates a sin and a sinner will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Luke 13 verse 3 Jesus says, Unless you all repent, you will all perish. This is the word of God, brothers and sisters. You are blessed because you are still alive. And so, God does not wish anyone to perish. If you turn to the Lord Jesus Christ, and humble yourself before him, no matter how you have done as evil. He is faithful and he will forgive you. God loves you. Please share this video. I love you all.